Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of It's Jenkins. This episode of It's Jenkins is brought to you by Quicksell's LBX PPC QS, because more particles is always better. Alright, that was a really long mission the last one. Uh, we're going to take the main lance out today. I think it's only been a couple of days because I was trying to get... Uh, if we go to the mech bay real quick. I got the avatar refit. Now, I did make a, a significant change to this thing based off the gear we got last time. And I think it's probably going to be a lot better. The rotaries, while they're good, I don't think I have the gear to successfully mitigate the heat. Especially on this desert planet. And we're not going to get the benefit out of them for all that weight unless we can, like, wind them up and hammer somebody with them. So, and they weren't very, they weren't very accurate. I'm not sure 100% why they did. I mean, we, we needed more gear, better recoil gear and stuff. But here's a quick look at this avatar uh, before we jump into the main lance today. Um, a pair of heavy PC, PPCs on each arm. A pair of light PPCs on each arm. I was going to go three PPCs and then I thought, like... I was having problems mitigating the heat and staying within a certain range. This will allow us, like if we don't fire the rockets, the rockets, I've just got, to, I, I had an extra space so I added them. So we got a rocket 10 with 5 heat and a rocket 5 with 3 heat. So that's 8 heat right there. If we don't fire them off, then we're like, you know, 6 heats under every turn. So that should be enough to mitigate the heat on the planet, or at least part of it anyway. Um, and doing it that way like if I was going to keep the third large PPC in here then I would have to keep the fire control system that we had to mitigate the heat with the heat uh, battle computer to keep the heat down and even then I was still going over so with the two light PPCs I was able to save 26 heat uh, which was huge and it opened up a few other possibilities because these were a little lighter um, uh, these are all the prototype double heat sinks we have, so if we lose any, we're in, like we're not replacing them. But I was with that done, I was able to get a tag barrage, guardian ECM, active probe, uh, and the rockets in there by leaving the heavy off, adding the two lights. I think this will give us a little bit more versatility too. I did put the regular recoil compensator in one arm, um, which gives us plus one accuracy. Now I thought about putting the two heavy PPCs in this arm to get the plus one bonus. But then I thought if we lose an arm, I would rather have them split up just in case we don't lose both of the big weapons at one shot. Although our armor is pretty good, we shouldn't have to worry about that. I've done something else I haven't done normally in the past. I added reactive plating here. We didn't need the ferrule. We had a little extra weight and I, at that point I could add more. Like I can't do any more heat sinking. So I could have added a few more rocket packs, but then I figure ballistic and missile attacks, right, get 20% resistance and I'm immune to three armor criticals so at range we are getting hit a lot by missiles so this will help mitigate some of that damage along with the laser ams giving this because that last battle we, we did take a lot of missile damage so hopefully that will mitigate some of that uh in the head we've got the plus two energy accuracy now um the ppcs are considered energy weapons not laser like this isn't lasers it's just energy so they'll gain the bonus for the plus two accuracy for that and then the tracker sensors so this guy's designed to stay at longer ranges. So another plus two bonus for that. And then we got one gunnery. I left the range 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 finder in here. So you get the uh, the bonus of that, the extra gunnery. Um, and the increased sight range. So that's a bonus too. Uh, we do have two four recoil on this. And these guys don't have any recoil. Um, the light ones will avoid, avoid evasion, but these ones, these guys here don't. Although that's a pretty big uh, ECM jamming and it stacks too. So uh, that's going to be a lot of ECM jamming on somebody. But we got four recoil mitigated here. That's two off. So we got two recoil every turn. The pilot should be able to mitigate one. And if it's a good enough pilot, I don't know which pilot's going to be piloting this one yet. Uh, it's probably still going to be vision. Um, but if we can get his gunnery up high enough, uh, we got plus one here. Hopefully we can get it to a point where it's mitigating the two recoil and we have zero recoil every turn. That's the dream. We'll see how that works out. So that's it there too. And I uh, apologize, I can't remember the person's name. Somebody mentioned about the double AC uh, Pirate AC5 build. Um, and once again, mentioning that it's the same thing that we've like, that I've used in the past where it's, yeah, it's, it does 25 damage, applies 20 heat. 
Um, but it does bonus damage against overheating targets. So if you use incendiary ammo, um, and if we can pair it up with some LRMs or most likely LRMs or SRMs with incendiary or EMP ammo to jack somebody's heat up, this thing can be devastating uh, at range. Now I have built this that type of mech in the past with ballistics, and I'll probably build a mech at some point in the future with that. But like I, like I said uh, in my comment, I want to try and at least with this playthrough, I've been trying to get away from the standard builds that I always do and get into using different stuff. Like I don't do a lot of heavy PPC builds. Definitely didn't use the heavy rotary in the past. Um, the quick sell stuff, I'm trying to get as much into that as I can just to get away from my standard builds because I do have my sent my like my fixed kind of idea of what I like to, to play with and it's a kind of a safe zone. So if I can get away from that as much as I can, that's what I'm going to try and do. Um, now we do have the, the uh, double AC2 quick cells as well that I want to kind of get into. Problem is, is that it's got a misfire chance. So I want to make sure, and it's got like three recoil, right? So um, once it misfires once, then um, it, the, it's, since it's only got one slot, then the weapon's destroyed forever. So I want to, if I'm going to get all four of these going in a mech, then what I want to do is make sure that we've got the best um, misfire reduction that we possibly can. And I do want to try and do that as well. I just need to find the mech and I need to find enough gear to be able to mitigate the recoil. So there's a bunch of builds that we could be doing. Please keep adding them in the comment sections down below. Um, I'm totally up to just about anything. Uh, but like I said, I'm trying to use stuff I haven't used before, like the like the ultralight rotary rifles. Whatever I haven't never used in the past, I want to try and get into some of that stuff. Um, so just let me know. And like I said, I'll, I'll I'm open to just about any build. Um, it's just a matter of time before we can get to it. So uh, that being said, let's go into the mission today. I know what we're going to do. We're going to take the main lance out and we're going to go to the command center. We do have a two skull attack convoy mission today against the Marians. And I want to try and take this. It says it's only defended by a single lance of mech, so we should be up against eight. There is that possibility there could be another additional lance, but you never know, right? We're going to go full salvage. We need sea bills, but uh, we're okay. We're comfortable. We're okay. So I'm kind of okay with that. Now, um, here we go. All right. So we're going to flush out these guys, and I'm going to have to remember to, like, mark in our second lance. Now, I do think we want to bring the Hetzer again. I think that's probably important. Um, trying to remember how we had these two, four, yeah, like that. And then the Vindicators up front, and you're here. We got... Uh, Jenkins and we've got Big Texas which I believe she's in the Vindicator right are you in the no you've been running the Panther uh, Big Texas is here I believe now you've got um, come on clustering roll right we don't have really anything you can take it all oh, the rotary yeah I think we'll keep you there for sure now Junker um, sorry, just give me a moment here. I'm trying to get my... I haven't played in a few days. I, I, I had my uh, um, fourth booster for COVID, and, and I, I had a couple... I was down for a couple of days and just was, like, just exhausted. It, uh, whenever I get my shots, like, it doesn't matter what it is. I'm, I'm always out. It just makes me really, really tired. So, uh, you're there. Uh, and you're in the headset right here. Right, perfect. Talented Mr. Ripley and Boomer. No, yeah, wait. Uh, no, Boomer's in the main lance. Sorry. Um, not boat. Scooter, right? Valkyrie, right. Perfect. Let's make sure we say, oh, we got to get another vehicle in here. Um, it's the Pegasus, right? We were running the, we were, no, we had the fire truck. Right, which is gone now. Now, do you have... You do have Pegasus experience. We had the Galleon, which I dropped out to save a bit of coin. Hmm. I wonder if having... Being up higher might be a little better. Hydra ammo, thunder. Hmm. No, let's stay with the Pegasus. I want to be able to do some backstrikes if I need to. Plus, this has got a little better armor. I think it's got a bit, bit, bit better armor, right? Yeah, a little better, marginally. Uh, yeah, let's, let's just go with this one. We'll save this. And um, just going to call it Jenkins. 
All right, perfect. Let's go. Yeah, we know. Oh, uh, yeah, I know. Got eyes on the target. Well, Darius's oh shit, Darius's uh, comment was, "This should be really well. This should go really well as long as their their assessment of the defenses being light is accurate." And I'm thinking, "Oh fuck." Okay. Well, uh, be able to move up there and see the targets, eh? All right. Let's wrap this up. Oh shit! They got guys here too, eh? Wait, is that where they have to go? One of our okay, one of these locations, Damn. convoy, escorts, and then yeah, that's the denial zone. Wait a minute, have I? What map is this? I don't think I've done a destroy convoy on this map before. Have I? What am I missing here? I don't even recognize this. Well, um, they are right in here. Now, I don't know. I guess they're going to come across and use the road. So, uh, if I stay here, we're going to be kind of like boxed in in one small area. I mean, we could go here and try and strike them from the side. That's probably a better option. Unless they have vehicles, like that's, their vehicles are here. That's the escorts. I mean, yeah, I, we have time. Let's drop in, like in here, I think. Here's my, um, you know, here's my thought. If the vehicles do move this way, they might come this way. If they move this way, we're going to get side shots anyway. It'll be an e easier kill than from the front, head on. And we're having to do, go through more armor and also deal with their mechs. At least this way we can hope... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. That looked like something really big. Like, that looked like a king crab right there. I mean, it's not there now, but... You guys saw that, right? Like, right here. I mean, it's not there now, but... Yeah, so they are coming around that way. We got a goblin. Lots of armor. Um, good to go. We do not have any spawn immunity, so I'm wondering. Yeah, but we don't know what they've got yet. You know, I'm gonna reserve for a couple here. See what we're up against. Okay, we got some sensors on. It's all vehicles. All right, so we kind of lucked out, I guess. Oh, commander. I'm oh, hit. why do I open my mouth? Like, why? How many times? I say something like that, and then something bad happens. It like seems like it's like once every mission. I'll be like, oh, we're just fine. And then something bad just happens. <sighs> I don't even... Yes, Commander. Why do I open my mouth? I know why, because I'm an idiot. You're an idiot. Chasseur. Cloudbuster AC5. Hetzer Quick Cell 1. Okay. Vedette Von Tees. I'm thinking. And I probably shouldn't be thinking because that gets me in trouble. I'm thinking we're going to try and clean up this scorpion real fast and then own their ass. Right? We'll be behind them here. This guy's probably one of their escorts if he's gone this way. And the rest of them seem to be going the other way. So hopefully we get a land a shot here. Yep. Primary target is taking oh, damage. it's the primary target. Okay. Double AC-20 misfire. So I was actually thinking about misfire when we were uh, loading in here. Because I was we were chatting about the double AC-2s. And I'm like thinking there's got to be a better way... Got to it. handle no misfire. Because, well, or damage weapons. Right now, it's like if you misfire, the weapon gets damaged. It's degraded. Right? I'm going to try and get the kill on this guy. We might get lucky. I think it's I think it's a good shot, though. Alright, we clicked the one side. Um, 
So, I was thinking that maybe, maybe rather than two stages where the weapon is damaged and then the weapon is destroyed. Um, let's go here. Heading out. Yeah, I want to get back shots on these guys. I'm going to try and get a kill here. we got to get rid of this guy. There we go. Nice. Got past the armor. Tango's trash. Excellent. Once we kill one more, I got a feeling that... Uh, oh, you're fucking bleeding out too, aren't you? Well... So yeah, my thought on, on those weapons would be... That maybe there, rather than two stages, there should be three stages. And the first stage is in a misfire would be the weapon, like, the weapon is damaged, right? Oh man, you landed like everything. Oh, nice shot. Hostile removed. So that's not the, the scorpion wasn't part of the convoy. You know what it was? It was a spillover. Spillover damage with the machine gun. So those two were escorts. Standing by. But yeah, so you'd have, I have to go this way. Just because I don't have speed. You'd have Understood. multiple stages, so let's take a, a double five for instance. A double five has got two slots. Um we got acid as well. Well let's just go with the standard. I want to save the acid just in case we get another drop here. That should you could damage you. There we go. Keep it up. So Orders. You've got two slots, right? Two slots for the weapon. And you're firing the weapon, right? And it misfires. And then you lose one slot. And of course you're going to take a, you know, damage um, reduction. I'm not really concerned about doing a lot of damage to this, although we could get a kill here. Let's wind it up. See what we get. And then we'll drop recall next turn. All right, not bad. So it would misfire once, take one damage, right? And then you have a worse chance to hit. Then you misfire again, right? And rather than being destroyed, which is normally what it would do, you have an additional damage state where it's out of action, right? So it goes it goes from being damaged to like like out of action. And then if it takes a crit, right? Like you can't use it anymore, but if it takes a crit, then it's destroyed. But it just stays in that damaged state, Yeah. right? And unless it's gonna be crit hit by something, then it's still fine. Um, I don't know what this Hetzer has. We're gonna move into here though. You know what I'm saying? So that at least if you're using double weapons, then you can feel free to use them. Like a double two, why would you ever use that? With a recoil of three and 10% mis misfire chance, it's it's just going to get destroyed. So, Roger. for one, you'd never buy it. Right, if you folks, pick it up and get this done. yes, if you pick it up and salvage, Waiting for orders. Um, I'm going to just put you like this. On my way. And we're gonna be keeping ourselves from bleeding out next turn. Commander, you know, because why why would you use it if it's just going to get destroyed? Now you could say it's kind of like a pirate weapon or whatever, this, that, and the other thing. But I, I don't like. It's not worth using. You know what I mean? It's just going to get wrecked. So why why use it? Now the double twenty. Enemy reinforcements up, detected. Nice. Got Come on, be Mex. I thought so. Yeah. Waiting for orders. Hopefully they're tough. Uh, we're just gonna pull here. Roger that. Drop our recoil. Hopefully get our machine gun back. Nope. Yes, Commander. Anyway, like, why would you use, you know what I mean? Why, why use them if it's just going to be an issue? Let's go here. We're going to drop our recoil 
and just target you with everything but the rotary. Drop a little bit of heat. Ooh, nice. Yes. Target neutralized. Receiving you. All right, Mr. Wildcutty. Back shot. Roger. I think this guy right here is the guy that's their uh, metal affected baby. He's probably no, he's part of the escort. Well, he's still got to go. Yes. So if it goes like uh, you know, I think that's a little bit more reasonable, and then maybe double the repair cost, right? Right, so the weapon's not destroyed unless it takes an additional crit, but then the repair cost is twice the amount. Why are you not shooting? Do you not have any usable weapons? You do. Yes, Commander. Alright, um... Where are you here? Oh, here. Right, they moved it out here. Let's you. stay alive. Stay alive. I'll find you. I'm walking here. Um, gonna do this because I want this guy gone. Uh, we're gonna drop. We gotta drop heat. Let's do this. Then we can maneuver next turn to go after the main bad guys. This is not going to cluster, it's too close. So we should do a lot of damage with the acid. Increase the damage of, the, of this weapon. And then the small X-Pulse as well. Yeah. There we go. I'm coming in hot. I mean, it's not a huge increase. A low kit. So there is, well, one mech. Bradford. Hunter. Well, yep. I'm sorry this two skull wasn't more exciting, guys. I apologize for that, but uh, we can only do what we can do. But yeah, you know, I, I mean, other than that, that's my only. I think that's my only beef with the quick sell gear. Most of them have a great trade-off, you know. And then let's say, Here like, yeah, double the repair value. But then if it gets broken all the way down to the end, where it becomes deactivated. Then, then quadruple the repair value. Ready for orders. Right, so it just costs you a ridiculous amount, like like a lot to fix. So you still have to be wary about using it. Moving to position. You know, but you don't have to be like terrified that it's going to be destroyed. It's just going to cost you a lot of money. Roger. Maybe that defeats the idea of quick sell. I don't know. Good to go. But I, I think if if you want people to use the weapon. You know, in game, then I think you gotta make it so that it's not gonna be completely destroyed. You know what I mean? What do you have? Heavy PPC and a Street 4. Well, I think we need to pay attention to you. Good damage with the rotary. Commander. What you get for dropping recoil, baby? There was a good green line here somewhere. At least I thought there was one over here. That's yeah, going to be a garbage that. chance to hit, but we'll take it. I mean, what else are we going to shoot for, right? I mean, at least we can get some quick, quick sell Hetzer parts. So even if we don't, uh... Locked on. Rear oh, armor. see ya. We can salvage that. We can. So if we lose the Hetzer, at least we can rebuild it. Might be interesting to try the heavy PPC version, but I, I'm still thinking that it's uh, going to be better to uh, to keep the double twenty. It's working so. I mean, the PPC version would probably be able to fire relatively every turn, like to fire twice and then stop, and fire twice and then stop, just to drop recoil. Because I think it's like a four recoil or something for the quick sell heavy PPC. I, I'm probably wrong, but I think it's around there. R62 mortar. Ow. My heat sinks can't take much more. Yeah, well. Waiting for orders. We'll deal with it. 
Can you get? You can. Primitive. This is a turkey shoot. But we needed an easy mission. The last two have been, I mean, not difficult, but been nice challenges. Oof, no kill, but good damage. Take that. Commander. All right, you need to drop some heat so we can move. So let's just go with, uh... Yeah, let's tick you off. Let's just fire the ER medium for now. We're not in a rush. Rear armor it is. Turret it is, I guess. It looks like a turret hit. Standing by. All right, you need to drop some heat, so let's just move up slightly. Probably just fire the streaks. This was a textbook fight. Yeah, we'll just fire the streaks because we're doing a lot of heat here. Aye, aye. Get the kill. Hostile removed. We ain't evacuing. We ain't evac evacuing. We're not evacuating. That locust is just like, oh shit. Receiving you. They got a quick sell Hesser with a double twenty. I'm just moving behind the hill here because we gotta drop recoil anyway. So we might as well, uh. Might as well do it there. Aye, aye. Just stay there, buddy. I think they need a, a fix to the first aid, too. Oof. My internals are taking a beating. Yeah, it's gonna be a few turns before we can get to that guy, too. You know what? Maybe not. That's the benefit of having these fast need? vehicles, man. Like pilots that can move real fast. Copy that. Getting a few of these, like it's just really a no-brainer. I think they've done a really great job with balancing out. I think that the um, the uh, the skills for vehicle pilots. It makes them like Wait even the order. even the the most um, I don't want to say basic of vehicle, but even the the simplest of vehicles like that Pegasus with a couple of SRMs now becomes very deadly because you can get around behind just about anybody in the battlefield, you know. And as long as you have a moderate amount of armor, let's go this route. We stay heat low because we want to move fast. Ooh, landed a few rotary shots. Commander. This guy's metal affected. Stay alive, buddy. I don't really care if you're in the battle or not. If there was a bunch... Like, I mean, look at their evasion on that thing now. I mean, it still gets countered if you get around behind it and stuff. But still, it's a few of those and you've got a devastating strike attack force, you know? It actually makes doing the vehicle playthrough. Oh, for f I'm taking heavy hits, Commander. It actually d makes doing the vehicle playthrough. I don't want to say viable, but really interesting. You know. Okay, we're just gonna walk up. They're gonna target this mech again next turn anyway. So let's get. Uh, yep. Saved up here. Now, how are you doing? Right, I got momentum. But that's fine. Heading out. That's just fine. Yo, what's up? Technology. How does 50 SRMs in your ass make your day? Yeah, thanks for showing up. I should let that guy be killed by the vehicles. Just let the rest of these guys be killed by the vehicles. Ooh. No shooting, just running. No, I want you to you shoot the locust in its back. If you land the shot, you're gonna be the, you, you're gonna be a champion. Do I hold? You know what? 
Let's just hold off, and we're gonna go after the Irby next turn. This thing's going down this turn, so. Putting one in the back. Just go with the machine guns, cause uh. I will be done. Jenkins got this covered, I think. Going full throttle. That uh. Locust came around the corner at the worst time. Yo, buddy. What's up? Go with the better chance to hit. Ass is really not going to make a difference on this guy. All we have to do is land something here. Yeah. Didn't make much difference. That's a kill. That's a kill. Hunter. LRMs. Why? You're doing 8 damage because you're using hot load maybe with incendiaries? Oof. Need better pilots. They're both terrified of the, uh... Yeah, they've got to do something about this too, like... How many turns of first aid should it take before bleeding is stopped completely? Like, let's say you've got... I don't know, like 6 activations before you bleed out. Maybe there should be a threshold like, I don't know, 8 or 10 or I don't know what what the threshold would be. But you make a threshold. Might as well do this. Not that it's going to matter. Yeah. Just try it anyway. Yeah. You make a threshold. And I don't know, maybe it, like, like I said, you make it like 8 or something like that. So that the number of activations plus your first aid... If you get to like eight or ten or let ten, let's say, then your wound is healed. And you're no longer bleeding. So let's say you've got eight turns to bleed out. It's not really that bad of a bleed out, right? So two turns of first aid gets you to ten, stops the bleeding permanently, and you're back in the fight. If you've got like three activations, then it takes seven turns to stop the bleeding before you're back in the fight. I think that would kind of be an interesting dynamic that would allow. Um, you know, would allow for um, mechs to get back in a fight. Because at, at a certain point, you're just standing there, like, with, what, both hands on your leg or your arm or something, trying not to die? I don't know. Nice streak hits. Standing by. You're not bleeding. Rotary is out of range, eh? All right, well, let's move so they can't see you. Oh, I have to be careful too. I keep forgetting. Sprinting while wounded Orders. can cause a problem. I remember I had my one pilot that, that passed out that on one mission. I can't remember which one it was. I think it was in the Duelist series where I sprinted while running and I took an extra wound. I gotta remember that. That's not That's not too bad. I don't mind that. Let's see if we can land this shot here. Nope. But yeah, I think the bleed out dynamic, like if you put a level of 10, so you're low, but ha and have it also too, like the lowest number of activations could be eight. It puts the pilot out of action for two turns. I think that's kind of fair, you know? And then if it's like really bad, like if it, have it even go down to one, you know? If you want to make it so that it's deadly, have it go down to one. So that it takes nine activations to get back into the battle, which, you know, in most cases the battle will probably already be over. In but if you're struggling, you know, having that extra mech come back at the end Orders. might be just a big difference between, you know, winning and losing. Commander. I think it would also add, make for interesting fights too, right? Especially if you have a wounded pilot, you got to kind of balance your balance your team until you can get your guy back into the fight. Especially with more diff more difficult missions, you know. What's up, boss? All right, talented Mr. Ripley, uh, you need to move. Where is this hunter damaged? I don't know. Mostly in the front, I think. Let's get over to here. Acknowledged. I'm only going to use the machine gun. Then we're coming back for the urban mech. 
This guy can easily be killed by the Pegasus, so we're going to drop this to drop the recoil. All right, six points. We'll take it. Oof, missed with the peep. I'm showing minor damage. I'm ready. Are you? Too bad the map's not ready for you. This Vindicator is so slow. Yep. Get on this guy. I'm pretty sure it's this front quarter that he's damaged on the side in the front here. Right? No, it's the other side. Of course it is. Let her rip. I should have just... I should always just choose the opposite side from what I think it is. I should just start doing that by default, but whatever. It makes for interesting matches. Helps helps things stay fair. Yeah, I totally believe that. Oh, they hit. Orders. All right, just walk up here. Copy that. Going after your leg, huh? Screw you! Firing all nice shots. Yeah. Got it. This guy's not getting away. You don't have the juice, buddy. Just give it up. Just oh, I'm almost out of SRMs. Maybe he does have the juice. All weapons fire. Yes, Commander. Do I have to be in... Oh, for some reason that doesn't run through flames? But that does. And that does. Well, we'll go through the non-flames. Somehow. And then let's apply damage liberally to this guy. See, that's what a PPC looks like, buddy. I think things are going swimmingly. Receiving. LBX PPC for the win. Yeah, cause see, this guy would be back in the fight now. Not that it would matter, but. Commander. Confirmed. If I need to go after that vehicle, at least we got a mech that's in in range. Uh, well, I'm fine with the heat. Go. There goes the leg. There goes the whole side, looks like. Well, there's two's down. Hopefully the PPC survives. One of three health, eh? Mm. I want salvage, so let's go back here and see if we can get a machine gun hit on his head. I mean, it's not... Optimal, but on it. Or we can just core him, that works too. Tango down. That guy. Yes, Commander. I swear to God, would get away. Receiving you. If I did not have vehicles. Aye, aye. Like if there was a way to get away, there would be. I, I can't stop him. What do you need? Well, you're almost out of SRMs, so I don't know what to tell you. You got four Copy rounds that. left. <laughs> We've been applying damage from the front. Keep doing it. At least it's a good chance to hit. Oh shit! Targeting for an Well, everything hit. Short range missiles are out. Maybe the double twenty will handle it. At least the hunter's Ready for uh, turret is like kind of fixed front-wise. We really need indirect, and I don't have any. Roger. You are about the only person that can chase this guy down now. That's got any kind of damage weapon. Let's get moving. Roger.
So this Hetzer's got like three kills this match, I think. It's actually kind of nice that, you know, there's that, oh, all three machine guns are unjammed now. Waiting for orders. Copy that. Just hang out. Managing heat. Just hang out. Confirmed. Holding. Just don't bleed out. Yeah? All right, you get one shot at him before we got the, uh... The laser shot. I think it's this side. I could check, but... Move. Lazy. I think this side's the most damaged. Oh, it's all damaged. Oh, got past the armor. I'm just... Hopefully the Hetzer can get right in front of him. Uh, I don't think I can. Standing by. I think I got a rear shot, and that's about it. Nope, side shot. That's not bad. Good odds for any Hetzer pilot. Any Hetzer pilot worth their weight and uh, worth their, you know what I'm talking about, worth their salt. Saltiness, whatever. <laughs> Just fire. Roger. Uh, that's a miss. Damn. Good damage with the machine guns, though. Ready for orders. Aye, aye. I'm gonna sit tight and cool off here. Yeah, you do that. What do you need? He's uh he's going over the battle footage so far and he's going, ah, I don't know if we got an episode here. <laughs> I don't know if I can air this. Well, I told people we we're going down here. We gotta post something. Aye aye. Engaging target. Oh for fuck's sakes. Aye aye. Make sure you shoot it where it's got armor. You want to strip all the armor off. You know, you don't get XP for taking the armor off, right? You don't You don't get any any additional experience points for removing all the, the enemy's armor. That's only in video games. We only get any kind of value when this thing is dead. Oh, double AC's done. Well, it misfired a hell of a lot in this battle. Alright, firing. Locked on. We didn't need it. Eliminated. Quick sell MGs for the win. Mission successful. Well, I mean, the one good thing, I don't want to say good thing, but the one thing about the two pilot wounds is it gives us an opportunity now to jump. It gives us a good reason to jump. They're, they're both out for 15 days, plus we have another pilot that's out. Four kills for the Vindicator. Three kills for the Hetzer. That was a good, I mean, I don't say it was a good match, but it was a... You know, good result for us, I think. It could have been worse if they had, had gotten some kind of fighting in on us, but three Bradford parts? Now, I should always remember to click storage. No Bradford parts. No Cloudbuster parts. We could take another Hetzer. Now, this is the double LRM 15 version. I gotta stay true to the playthrough. I'm going to take those two parts, and then we'll see what we got down here. So I know it had double 20s, heavy PPC quick sell. Heat 25, why is it so low? Bonuses, damage buildup. Full damage at maximum range. Okay, that's probably why. Of 600 meters, so you got to kind of stay at 600 meters. Yeah, it does have a recoil of 4, like I said. That's actually, that actually might be a better weapon for the Vindicator since we can't really close with the enemy anyway. I'm going to throw that in there. Pirate heavy machine guns, not bad. I mean, they do add an additional heat, but we're not really interested in that. Quick, quick sell streak four. Uses two ammo for every shot, but I think it, it targets individual missiles. So when it fires... It determines if each missile would hit rather than the first one. Because normal streaks, I think, with the first missile hits, then the rest of them all hit. But with this one, it rolls for each one. It will use two ammo for every one that fires, but it's guaranteed to hit, I think. And it rolls for each missile. So it might only fire two times, and you'll get two guaranteed hits. 
but you use four ammo for that. So I mean, it, it's like I said, like like with every quick sell weapon, it's a trade off, with the exception of the the ACs, which I'm not really big on. Probe King QS, King of the Probes, baby, King of the Probes. Okay, now I do want to check to see. You see five ammo, incendiary. We've got two. Was there AC5 incendiary? No, but there's flak ammo. We have regular, right? Yeah, we've got tons of regular ammo. I think I got that event where you got the extra AC5 ammo. Okay, TBM15, though. Do we want to pull TBM15 down, or do I want to just look for more par like vehicle parts? Grenade launcher. Hmm. Pirate AC-10 gives us what? Evasion ignore, plus one accuracy, variable damage, jam chance of recoil times five, has a recoil of four. So if you can reduce that to zero, then it has zero jam chance. If it's one, it's five. If it's if you don't have any recoil reduction, it's 20. Yeah, once again, it's a good trade-off, I think. You know, I, I pr much prefer the jam over the misfire. Misfire was the thing that I, uh, why I always stayed away from pirate weapons in the past. And now I think the misfire has kind of been transferred over to the quick sell stuff. Uh, we can't really assemble another cloud buster. So I think I will just leave that. And maybe we do take the TBM. I've used Thunderbolts in the past. They're you know, I, I don't know. There's good things and bad things about them. The damage is great, but you got to land, right? If you don't land the hit, then it's it's a waste, and it gets shot down by um, AMS, right? So you got to kind of flesh out who you're shooting at first to see if they got AMS. So maybe we do take that and then some TBM-15 ammo, like the like the uh, HE. Just as a future, you know, like a future weapon. It could probably go in the main lance, or the second, I keep calling it the main lance, the heavy lance, secondary lance. Where do I grab this? What's the weight? Three tons. Where would it go though? Like that's the thing. Is that there's no real place for it because we're advancing in weight. That this is, it's not a viable option for anything. Like the, the smaller SRMs are now like not really a viable option for anything unless we're boating a lot of SRMs. In which case, the the smaller, lighter ones might be a better choice. But I can't see us needing or using this any anytime soon. So I will stay. I will keep these quick sell ones though. All right, we got two Cloudbuster parts, a full Defender. So what do you? Oh, you got like nothing. Double AC two. I'll probably put that together and sell it. The Hetzer parts, obviously. The Hunter got another Urban Mech part. But at Von T's LRM twenty, don't have any. So we'll hang on to that. It's funny now that I've been using a lot of um, a lot of structure, eh? All the leader missiles. Now that I've been using a lot of. Um, uh, let's get rid of that. And here's my reasoning for getting rid of double SRM ammo. Generally, if you're like if you're boating a lot of SRMs, having regular double ammo is kind of okay. But later in game, you're going to have acid. You're going to have incendiary. You might have EMP. You know, you might have Artemis ammo, and you're going to want to add a little bit of each. So the double ammo is not going to help you because if you're if that's the only thing you're firing, then sure. But if you're not, then the double's a waste of it's just why? It's two tons, sure, and you have extra shots, but you're never going to use them all because you've got other stuff that you're going to be using. So it's really not really, you know, like I said, it's not really that usable. Now LRM ammo, on the other hand, is a different story because if you're boating a lot of LRMs, you want as much ammo as possible. But the SRMs, eh. Because even with an SRM-24 build, like if you had four SRM-6s, that's that's 10 turns of firing with that because it's 250 rounds. So 
it's 10 turns of continuous firing but like I said you're going to want to have acid you're going to want to have incendiary you're going to want to have EMP if you can get it you know you're going to want other stuff in there to load out the different tubes for different uses and you're not going to need 10 turns of regular SRM firing so that's why I ditch it yeah 27,000 that's not too bad I mean they put up a half decent fight I mean got a couple of head hits anyway so I think this is a good time to jump we've still got a, a bit of time before the next financial report so I'll try and find like a two two and a half skull planet close by something that we can get like three three and a half skull missions for our mainlands and then two two and a half skull missions for sorry for our mainlands the heavy lands can take the three three and a half and we'll see how we do um, hopefully we're not I'm not gonna try and find a non-desert world someplace where we're not overheating all the time I'm going to end this episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe and go check out the Quick Sell site. And until next time, we'll see you later.